and we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create a simple thumbnail or video background in Photoshop. Let us create a new document. What I've got here is a simple background and a couple of images that I'm going to use. You will find all of these via the description links below. And I'm going to use a specific font, Richie Brasha. You will find that via the description link as well. If you want to create a thumbnail for YouTube videos, you need a 1280 x 720 size. If you want to create an image as a video background, you need 1920 x 1080. I'll be working with the video background size here in this example. Then I'll make all of the images invisible. And I'll start with the first one, which is this portrait. It has some rough edges, so I'm going to place it at a corner, right or left side, whatever. And now I'm going to select the model using the quick selection tool. Let us zoom in, ah, that looks good. This one's easy to select. Click on layer mask and now select and mask. Let me check the smart radius and increase the radius just a little bit. Maybe like so. Don't worry about the details here, we are going to create a silhouette out of it. So simply hold control and press on your layer mask. Then open a new layer, activate your paint bucket tool and make sure black is your foreground color. And then click on your layer. Afterwards press ctrl D to deselect everything. Now we've got a silhouette created. We don't need the original anymore, but press ctrl T and we will resize the silhouette a little bit. Maybe like so. And I reposition it slightly to the left. Hold Ctrl and select both layers, then press Ctrl G to group them. This is our silhouette group. Let's get to the next image. It's the bird's image. I don't want to use that now. I want to have this one, the street image. So I'll place it on top of my silhouette group and then right click and create a clipping mask. Press Ctrl T and I resize it. I'll hold Alt and now press Enter and I reposition it. I think that looks nice. Let me rename that to street. And now we will work with the bird image. Let us make that visible. We could place it below our silhouette. But we want to have some birds within it. So let me place it on top of the street silhouette. And then change the blending mode. Darken or multiply works great in this example. I'll reposition it, but I want to have the birds to fly in the left direction, so I press Ctrl T, right click, and then flip horizontally. Afterwards, I once more press Ctrl T and resize it. Let me position the first birds right here and then I use the selection, the marquee selection tool. Create a layer mask with black as the foreground color and then I inverse it by pressing Ctrl I. I use the brush tool with black as foreground color and make it a bit bigger. Make sure you paint on your layer mask. 
Now I'll copy my layer, my bird layer with Control J. I'll get rid of the layer mask, right click and delete it. And now I'll reposition it. Maybe like so. I'll add a layer mask and use the brush tool to get rid of the birds on the right. Maybe I'll keep that one on the top, so I press X to have the white color as foreground color and paint on it again. And it looks nice. Let me hold control and select both bird layers and group them with control G. Now I'll go to adjustment layers and select black and white. And this already looks like the result I want to have. But now I'll add some clouds. Let me put the first one here. I'll copy it by pressing Ctrl J and I'll reposition it on top of the birds. I'll make another copy for the right top part of our composition. Now we've got a huge space on the left side for a new layer on which we can write some text, but let me group the clouds. Once more select all the layers and then press Ctrl G to group them. If we put the black and white adjustment layer on top of the clouds it doesn't make a huge difference in this example. So let me add some text now with the type tool. By default you might have the aerial text selected. We want to resize it first, press Ctrl T, make it a bit bigger and reposition it. And then let's choose a different font. As I have said, we will be using Richie Brusher in this example. Looks like this. You will find that font. It's free on the font. Just follow the link in the description below. If you want to resize it once more, press Ctrl T and just do so. Let's change that text to something meaningful. But I don't want to have two lines, so let me press Enter and Shift at the same time. And I'll align it to the center. Now I can resize it a bit more. And I reposition it once more. When you do so, try to find a composition that you like. You will find all of the elements that I've used here for free. Let me place another cloud layer on top of the text this time. Go to our clouds folder and press Ctrl J once more. But this time, after repositioning it on top of our text, we will decrease the opacity. And this is our final result. As I've said, you can use that as a thumbnail, looks good, or as a background for your videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.